Welcome to Partners in Ministry. My name's Dan Smith, and today my guest is Rob Rosador. Rob is the Executive Director of Connected Transit in Smyrna, Georgia. Welcome, Rob. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me, Dan. Hey, to get things started, why don't you give us a brief history about Connect, about Connect Transit, how it got started, where it is today, that type of thing. Absolutely. Um, so last year, um, last year, around, uh, I would say the spring of last year, uh, I was having a conversation uh, with one of my good friends, uh, Dave, and, and I was just, I was just telling him and asking him, like, um, I'm extremely blessed where I'm at today in my life. And uh, so in what ways, you know, uh, can I give back, you know, to, you know, to uh, my community as well, too. And, um, and I just shared about my background, all my experiences, some of the challenges that, you know, I faced uh, as well as my family. And um, so the common theme that we, that we recognize as far as my experience and the challenges that, the challenges that I faced uh, had to do with uh, incarceration, right? And then um, so in doing that, you know, we kind of thought about like in what ways can we, you know, bridge the gap between families and those who have loved ones who are incarcerated? Uh, so the inception of Connect Transit came about, right? Because, um, you know, I was affected by it, unfortunately, um, nearly over 10 years ago. And obviously, you know, with family and family members and friends. Uh, but the positive that came from, you know, that experience was the fact that I did have loved ones that would come see me because they had reliable transportation. And then so that just, Gave us that, that just gave us gave us this idea of us wanting to you know go ahead and start the service and um, so we are a little over a year old um, and started Connect Transit. Okay, so God put it on your heart, having been through uh, your family and your neighbor or whatever some of these experiences that you were having to realize that you know there's this there's this big hole here. Even when when people are incarcerated, there's this division between the family and the person right. being held that can't be bridged because you just don't have the means of getting there. And obviously, they're not going to let them out so that they can come see their family. The only way is to put it back. And then God just really put that on your heart. And that gave birth to the idea of Connect Transit, right? Absolutely. Yes, sir. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we know that God uses past experiences to help us identify things where he wants to use us and where he wants us to be the influence for the kingdom. Uh, tell us a little bit about your background and how God's uh, used previous experiences to prepare you for this ministry and specifically to be the director. Yeah, yeah. So um, uh, again, just that that whole experience as far as being incarcerated, um, I got a first, you know, first class seat just to you know just to see the challenges with that, right? And um, but having that first class seat to see the challenges with, like literally watching, you know, my fellow inmates that was incarcerated not getting visitation, and the behavioral you know differences between myself and for some of us who were getting visitation, right? Um, there was a huge difference, right? How we um, had, you know, and how we, um, you know, conducted ourselves while we were incarcerated, as well as just having a game plan. Like once we were, once we were released, because we we're getting this this positive reinforcement from family members and friends that's coming to see us. Once we got out, you know, um, there was a difference as far as how we, um, you know, were successful not going back, you know, and getting into trouble and everything like that too. So. Um, but, uh, so that, you know, again, that brought the experience as far as like, uh, this is something I would like to start, but also too, as far as, as far as the preparation, I think, um, God did an amazing job as far as blessing me with an amazing team, right? So it's myself, uh, Dave, uh, we have an accountant we have a part manager. Uh, we recently brought on a social media, a social media manager as well. And they're all passionate about connect transit. You know, they all bring the different skill sets, you know, to make uh, Connect Transit great. And um, and also, too, just the partnerships that we, you know, we recently built um, with the different uh, nonprofits. You know, they've shared their knowledge, they shared their resources, their time to help us to uh, to get to where we're at today. And um, so it's been, it's been an amazing journey. Oh, that is great. That is great. So recap then again for us now exactly who the, who you're serving, what, what area of Georgia, uh, what institutions are you are you serving right now? Yeah, so uh, specifically specifically right now, uh, our target audience uh, is the uh, the youth detention centers, which it is uh, the uh, juvenile correctional facilities. Uh, you know that holds the the, the teenagers. So that's our target audience. Uh, so um, it's um, it's mainly specifically within the metro Atlanta area. 
um, our our first um, you know our first institution uh, is the Marietta Youth Detention Center. Um, so we have a partnership with them, you know, to start uh, providing those services. And um, so transportation is a small piece, right? So we do provide the transportation. Um, so by tra by date, I am a cloud systems engineer for a major financial institution. Uh, so that's what I do. And um, so with that, I'll, you know, with that, what we're also looking to provide is free vocational training, mm -hmm. specifically in the IT space, right? Um, I did I did not finish college, right? I didn't finish college. Once I did get out of, you know, me being incarcerated, the thing that helped me so much was getting some, you know, IT certifications, getting an internship, and now, you know, I live, I'm, you know, grateful to live a blessed life. I want to make sure I'm able to, to pay that forward, you know, to, you know, with those guys. But yeah, so, you know, we, we have a partnership with them at the, uh, the Marietta, the Marietta Detention Center. And then, um, so yeah, we, um, you know, essentially just provide transportation for the families to see their loved ones who are incarcerated there. Sure. So there's a lot more going on than just getting transporting family members to be able to see their loved one that's incarcerated at this particular time here. You're actually um, you're doing a whole lot more as a result. And it sounds like you've got at least this kitchen helping you. Are there any other partnering ministries that are, are supporting you in this work? Yeah, yeah. So we have uh, the Power of Peace Project. Um, that's one of our supporters. We have uh, Hope Inc. Worldwide. That's one of our um, uh, partners. We use World War II. Um, we have... Um, uh, yeah, so we have those three as the main ones, and um, I, yeah, there's there's another one that's, that's tough in my mind. Uh, we recently we recently just had a conversation with her, and we have that partnership going, um, but uh, we have some great support for sure. So, how do you get from point A to point B? I mean, you're talking about cars, vans, buses. Uh, how are you doing actually doing the transportation? <laughs> okay, so great question. So, as a technologist, um, I wanted to find a way to make this, you know, very very efficient and not too much of a burden, right? So, so initially, I was like, I don't wanna just have everything on the website, right? On today's age, everybody's familiar with apps and how they work. Um, so I did, you know, uh, I don't wanna say spill, but I would say that I, would, you know, I was inspired by Lyft and Uber and their, you know, their app model. So, so what I did, I built a app, I built a mobile app that works, it functions just like Uber, right? Um, so what, the, what families do, they go in the app, they book their rides, and if they're booking their rides from the actual, you know, from um, to be picked up from one of the train stations, then that ride is free to get to the um, to get to the institution. And the reason why that service is completely free is because um, our volunteer drivers that connect transit, you know, we have a 15 passenger van, so they're picked up from the train station to get dropped off, right? And um, so that again, that service is free. The service that they're paying for, which is a, which is less than half than what they're paying for for Uber and Lyft, right, is if we pick them up from home. So if they go on the app, they book a trip from the you know from their home or a location that is not the train station, then they're charged you know, a very very affordable fee, right? And what makes it even more unique than the Uber and Lyft is that it's a flat rate for the you know for the round trip, right? It's a flat rate uh, on top of the fact that uh, we wait for you, right? Because if they say they could go like two or three hours. If it's Uber and Lyft, they drop you off, you got a call, they, you know, they, you know, then um, they'll pick you up again. But with, you know, with our service, we wait for you, it's a flat rate, and it's, you're paying significantly uh, lower than Uber and Lyft as well. That is awesome. So it sounds to me like a couple things going on here. One way is if uh, I want to go visit my grandson uh, and I live in the general, mm -hmm. I can use your app. And uh, somebody will come pick me up, drop me off, wait there for a couple hours, and when they're done, take me back home. That's unique, the waiting, waiting there until I'm done part of it. Yeah, yep. mm -hmm. Absolutely. You can pick me up at the station. So if I live from outside the area uh, and uh, I could get to the train station and then have you for free pick me up from the train station, drop me off, and then take me back to the train station, I can go back home. Right. And so another thing I, um, I wanted to mention, too, is that within this app, what we're looking to, what we're looking to do is to build community. So, yeah. so what I can give an example with my wife today, who's my fiance at the time when I was incarcerated, you know, nearly 10 years ago, so, um, she had reliable transportation to come see me, fortunately, right? And so what if there was an app like ours, you know, and so what she could have done, she could have gone in the app um, and made herself available. And, and so she's going to the institution, she could ride with someone, 
right? Making money and building with someone. So that's so that's the other part of the app is that for those who do have reliable transportation, they're going there anyways. Just you know, go along with somebody else. You know, it's kind of going through the same things you know that you're going through. And, sure. um, so they're able to build many in that sense. Yeah. Well, Rob, that's ingenious. That what, what a great idea. I mean, I, I don't care about everything that, that tech could do, but that's a new one to me. That's that's awesome. <laughs> it makes all the sense in the world, especially when you think about you know if a church were to buy into this thing and say, okay, we're going to have a drive for to provide uh, app users for you know ride givers for right. you know for this ministry uh, because I think the bigger and the broader the base that you have of people that are free that are available to connect people to with their loved ones the easier it's going to be the, the easier it's going to flow uh, the more economical it's going to be it, it's just a great idea that is all it's got to be god that's all i gotta say it's got to be a god thing <laughs> yeah all right here comes the big dollar question i'm sitting here and i'm listening yes, to you know and i'm saying you know this ministry is awesome what are some ways both people that are there as well as those that are not you know, like me in montana right now how can we get involved with your ministry? How can we help? How can we support what you're doing? What are some ways to do that? Well, uh, thank you so much for asking that question. Because uh, obviously, you know, again, you know, we're still, uh, we're just about a year a year old. Um, so whatever help that we can get to make this even better um, would be great. Uh, but to answer your question, I would say that um, by visiting our site, uh, HTTPS uh, colon forward slash forward slash connect, but it's spelled with a K. K-O-N-C-T, connect transit with another T, uh, T-R-A-N-S-I-T dot org. Um, so you can go on the website, you can look at all of our services that we provide, learn more about you know about our company, and then we have a we have a donation, uh donation button on there as well, too. And um, so you can support in that way. Um and, and then also too, um, our goal, right? So we have, you know, we have this app. So our goal is to, you know. To, to have this in in different states as well too. So eventually we'll get out there and you know to where you're at. But um so if we want to make sure that um you know we're able to leverage you know these work because it's not cheap, right? This technology is not cheap and everything like that too. So the support would be great. Uh but yeah, so you know by going to our website, being able to donate would be would be great. Yeah. You know what one of these days I'm gonna see you in Shark Tank. That would be way cool though. Hey, I know that guy. <laughs> would that be cool? That would be awesome. It would no, 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 it would not only go past Georgia, man. That'd be it would go nationwide. <laughs> if it's God's will, if it's yeah, God's will, yeah, yeah. Of course, he's he's always got the in, inside track on all that kind of stuff. But it's fun to dream. Right. Hey, hey, thank you yeah. for the overview, Rob. Really appreciate it. It's just a wonderful thing that you're doing. I just really want to thank you for taking the time to let our listeners know about what's going on. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. Hey, if you've got any questions or if you'd like to learn more about Connect Transit, you can see their contact information right here on the screen. You can also find it in the show notes for this episode on our website, or you can find it in the description of this YouTube video. If you'd like to support Connect Transit financially, you can find links to do this both in our show notes as well, again, as in the YouTube description. So on behalf of Connect Transit, Rob Rosendor and Partners in Ministry, I want to thank you for joining us today. And until next time, let's get out there and serve as Christ serves.